Hello Love Squad! It is me, Annie, bringing another episode of Warhammer Wednesday your way on behalf of Girls Games Gogs. Excuse the crazy world here today. Like, I'm supposed to do without. Whew! Okay, sit. I look like Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. <laughs> Anyways. Today's episode, I'm gonna give you a little show and tell of the kind of models I've been working on, what I've been up to recently, and maybe just have a wee chat about another couple of things uh, Warham related. Also, I'm gonna try my best to plug a few things today, get you involved and stuff with the local Warham community, particularly on TikTok. Um, a couple of my buds are running like podcasts and have some exciting things upcoming, so I want you to pay close attention. Yeah, you'll maybe learn something worthwhile. That's a, one of my favourite things about this hobby, obviously, is if it's not just for the community, it's like the learning process. If it's a new technique you're learning, something interesting about the lore, there's just so many things, so many aspects to it, and you never get bored. There's always something else to sink your teeth into. Yeah, watch this space. Purely showing off here, but I am super delighted with how these models came out. Starting with my Lictor. Ooh, try not to drop it. So this was me trialing out the Colour Shift box set of paints that I got from... It's mad, sorry. From Green Stuff World. I bought a set of metallic Colour Shift paints and I am super happy with how these look on models. They're just unreal. Um, so that is how I chose to do my Lictor. Some people had said he looks a bit like bubblegum, which I think is kind of cute and kind of accurate to be fair. Um, but yeah, if you just check him out, very pleased with the effect. They also got my Zone Thorpe completed. He's got a proper alien vibe, this guy, doesn't he? And this is, in fact, a metal miniature that was gifted to me from Tasha's dad. So massive thank you, Stephen, for that. Uh, honestly, working through that box of stuff has just brought me so much joy. It's put me out of my comfort zone for um, doing a lot of the paint schemes and... Honestly, I'm sorry, this hair. <sighs> that side, maybe? <laughs> it's just getting wilder and wilder as the video progresses. Um, thank you so much. Honestly, I've had so much pleasure uh, painting these and trialing new things and just... Yeah, lots of fun. So these are what I've been personally working on the last week or so. One more model to showcase. Look at this adorable wee sleepy cutie. So this is Kamotef the Crooked and he was part of the commemorative series that Games Workshop launched um, for I think it was our 25 year anniversary. And I was fortunate enough, let you see that base. I was fortunate enough that my good buddy actually picked up two of these, one for himself and one for me, and shipped up to me. So yeah, I am so pleased again. This was using the Colour Shift paints and just trialing it on the black primer as opposed to white primer. And I think he looks pretty dope. Pretty dope. So dope, in fact, that Warhammer Aberdeen actually have featured it as their profile picture for this week. Yay! So that will be added to my collection of Necron, which is quite decent now actually. I'll give you a little um, tour of what I have model-wise sitting on display just now if you like. Follow me. So starting up the top here you will see my badass Wraith Knight. He is still my absolute pride and joy. And you'll find my growing range of Ultramarines. Lots of buds in here. I've started some Tau. I do still have a lot of that to do as well. The miniatures are hiding there in the back as well. They were really fun to paint. See my Crute. Like I said, I have more of them to build, so that'll be the next thing I'll be tackling. Here is my Necron. Growing, growing, growing as well. Keeping me busy for sure. Uh, my little emo version and the Beatles take on that as well. I do love to get experimental with these guys. So much fun. You'll see my Keeper. Again, everybody knows I'm a big fan of her. She is awesome. My Kitbash. We've got DP there, a bunch of Demonettes, Bliss Barb Archers. Moving on to my uh, Nids. So we've got two Nids, we've got Gargoyles. We have got Warriors. These dudes, my Lictor. 
kind of like a Carnifex in the back there, but it's kit bosh to heck. And my zone thought. So yeah, my display cabinet is looking kind of jam packed to be fair. So it is, oh, it's a hamster food. <laughs> Can I forget that? He's sleeping. Um, I really do need to get some more space. A bit of promotion for one of my buds here today. Over on TikTok, the Wargamer One Win One and Average Wargamer have teamed up to create a podcast. Now, I am guilty of having not actually listened to the second one yet. I've only listened to the first one, but it is great. It's a great atmospheric, like, oh, just to hear two people who are passionate about the hobby, like asking all sorts of questions and exploring all different kinds of topics as and when they arise. And I know they're gonna have um, various guests on at different opportunities when they can to discuss all aspects of the hobby, including having females in the hobby and what kind of impact that has. And for newbies, like how it feels coming into the hobby as a new person, again, someone who's been in it for years, uh, just some of the challenges you face, some of the good points about that. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this progresses and develops. Um, so if you check them out on YouTube or check them out on TikTok, I'll drop a couple of links here. You would be doing me a huge favor if you could check out these guys because they know what they're talking about and it's gonna be so much fun. It's definitely something worth watching. Here! <laughs> I wanna give another shout out to the man from McCrag. Did I say it right? The man from McCrag? I think it's how you say it. Uh, anyway, it's my, my buddy Ross. He has got something really exciting lined up soon as well. Gonna be featured on TikTok and YouTube too, I believe. Go subscribe, go check out what it's about. He's given a kind of wee sneak peek preview of what his plan is. And again, it's someone who knows their stuff. He has been really helpful for me with a lot of things as well. And he actually donated the head component for my lictor because I was missing one. So shout out to him for that as well. I kinda thank you enough for your support. And he's a fellow Scot, so got to big up the Scots. Whoop, whoop. So yeah, if you could check him out as well, you'd be doing me a huge favor. Appreciate it. Now self-promotion wouldn't be self-promotion without getting a wee side shot in regarding what me and Tasha have been up to. If you're following us on Instagram, you maybe would have seen a sneaky tease photo. So, me and Tasha did a joint boudoir photo shoot, which was such a good experience. Like, Cara Mitchell is great at what she does. She has, honestly, this hair. Oh, we're rocking it, we're rocking it, we're rocking it. <laughs> I could be here forever more playing about with this afro. Wild. Cara Mitchell is fantastic at what she does. She has a whole variety of types of photos she specializes in weddings babies but the boudoir stuff so much fun to do so good to see the results we're still waiting a couple more images from her but once they are finalized we have a little something special uh lined up that we're gonna release on our channel or on our instagram or a tiktok so Follow, 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 follow. If you haven't already, keep your eyes peeled for that. It's something fun, all about female empowerment, which is something that we strongly want to communicate in this community. It's important to pick up the females because um, a lot of these things were predominantly male dominated. And I'm not saying it was intentionally done, but um, it's been so fun to be a part of something that stereotypically is probably associated more with males than females. I've been receiving tons of love and support from all kinds of people, which is just wonderful. And I want to put back to you tenfold. Um, you are all fantastic in so many ways. I'm having so much fun being a part of this community always. Well, remember that last week I also touched on the fact that we need to hit 200 subscribers on YouTube. Now, this is important because it means we can do our next live where me and Tasha are gonna make it Warham themed this time as opposed to Pokemon themed. We're also gonna do a giveaway. So you're gonna have the chance to win something Warhammer related. Giveaways are great, right? We're gonna show you Tasha purchasing and painting her very first mini. It's exciting, so exciting. As a Warhammer fan, this kind of just gets me, kind of wait to be part of that experience for her. Hope she enjoys it, but it's gonna be good to just kind of go from start to end. So we're gonna like film her as she actually goes into the store, 
locates a model, decides which one she's going to go for, she needs to start off and um, watch her progress from there. Now this should be a great wee feature particularly for any people who are new to the hobby, anyone just starting out, anyone who just wants to see the process from start to finish, you've maybe been curious about entering it but didn't know what to do, then this is for you. This is going to be a feature that will be really beneficial I think and hopefully will convey why people get so passionate about tiny little toys as adults. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, you know what I mean. So yeah, again, it's quite brief, quite short this week. Um, I'm still trying to play catch up. I broke my desk lamp earlier this week on a live with uh, Vio Bubble. Wow. <laughs> if it requires me talking, it sounds like effort. Oh yeah, uh, socializing, that's too much effort. Yeah, it is. Why do you think I do Gates Workshop? <laughs> <laughs> you got Put your nipple away, for God's sake. It is away. <laughs> is it that one that says it? Yeah. So, uh, Matty, yes, your casual nip slip definitely triggered my desk to have a male function. So, malfunction, male function, could be the accent. Which, again, you guys keep saying you love, and it's... <laughs> It's so funny because like some days I try to tone down the broadness of my accent and it's just, it's not getting any better, shall we say. I think I sound more Doric the more I film. <laughs> the more comfy I get with you guys, the more proper Scottish I sound. Not gonna apologise if you love it, but yeah, if, if you're struggling to understand, I do apologise for that. I speak a little bit fast, so it's pure excitement. It's just excitement, that's what it is. I did one live this weekend, shall I say, and Marty came and joined me and we had another couple of guys present at the time and it was hilarious. So much fun, but my desk, like one thing after another was going wrong and it started with my desk lamp caving in and breaking and which is now fixed, which is good because it means I can get back to hobbying. But yeah, that's why I wasn't able to do so much painting or building these last couple of days. Next, I think I'm going to tackle this box. I do love a lot of screws. There is a bunch of marines in here. So we're going to get them out again in tow. And here, that will be the next project. And once I have cleared my backlog, I'll treat myself to a new model because I'm being super disciplined and I don't want to do it until I've at least worked through some of that pile. So yes, watch this space, stay tuned and uh, thank you so much again for watching, for paying attention, for chilling out, for hanging out and happy hobbying guys. Take care.